Hello, this is Kevin from Crypto and Mind. In today's episode, let's talk about Dogecoin. As you can see, Dogecoin has been uh, plunging quite a lot lately, and right now it has been doing a very strong recovery towards upwards. And right now, where is the uh, Dogecoin heading? Okay, right now, as you can see here, uh, looking at the day one chart of the Dogecoin, you can see that the candlestick right here, which is the day before the yesterday, uh, the third candlestick it has been dropped all the way down to the 20 cents mark right here so the day after it has been uh, recovered quite strongly towards the uh, 39 cents so right now whether or not dogecoin able to sustain around this area or it, it will continue to go down afterwards or go back right up afterwards Dogecoin has been doing a very consolidation racket right now. Uh, it's a symmetrical triangle whereby if you put the line straight all the way up here and a line straight all the way down here, you can see this is a, a very obvious symmetrical triangle. Symmetrical triangle usually there is a 50-50% whereby it will fall uh, either below or it will go right above. Right now, I believe that the Dogecoin will do a very slight movement just sliding around here just floating around here and then once it has a confirmation whether you want to go up or go down it will be right around this area so I think these few days will not have any much impact towards the Dogecoin but if you ask me whether the Dogecoin will have the uh, uh, potential to go up I would say 70% why because of the hype that we gain from the Twitter, especially from Elon Musk. I, I believe that uh, every time uh, Elon Musk start tweeting about Dogecoin, I believe the price will have a very strong impact towards upwards. And right now, I think uh, Elon Musk has uh, start tweeting a little, little, little about Dogecoin. As you can see here, this is the latest tweet from him, stating that how much is that Doge in the window. So as you can see here, I think uh, there is the uh, Dodge paper money right in front here. Can you see? Very, very tiny uh, a dollar coin of worth of Dodge coin. So I think as long as the Elon Musk starts to tweet back about Dodge coin, I believe the price will continue to surge upwards. Probably it will not have a lot of impact right now. But I think once the uh, market has been stabilized, I think the Elon Musk tweets will have a very strong impact towards the Dogecoin. Of course, if you ask me whether or not uh, Elon Musk is doing the, the right way, I would say no because he is somehow manipulating the market. But manipulating the market, somehow you can also gain profit from here. And of course, you can also lose money from here. So uh, invest smart whereby you always buy at the low price and sell at the high price so if you ask me long run can it reach back the 50 cent mark yes it could and right now if you can see the technical analysis from this uh, dogecoin let me uh, put in a little bit right here as you can see here if i pull the uh, fibonacci from the highest high from the lowest uh, the latest lowest low you can see that the uh, 0.86 line and the 0.618 line is just right below here so right now what you need to do what you need to monitor is if the uh, candlestick able to close above this uh, 0.45 which is around this area or close inside this blue zone most probably it could just float around this here area and it might touch the uh, 0.5 uh, price later on so if you want the dogecoin to uh, search further up uh, the only thing you can do right now is if you see the uh, dogecoin search above this 0.5 mark most probably you will see a very strong pull back all the way to this 0.6 mark and then it will automatically search very very fast towards this 0.8 mark around this area so uh, it's a very crucial point for uh, dogecoin i would say 50 50 percent most probably 70 percent uh, of it you will search up but uh, how high it will search up we will not know but based on the rsi the rsi is moving towards the uh, 50 level which is a good thing for the uh, dogecoin we are looking at the uh, right now we are looking at the day one chart if we look at the weekly chart 
I think the weekly chart is also doing all right, where it pulls back all the way up to the 39 cent right now. But one thing we need to take note of that is if next week, the Monday, when the weekly candlestick close, we want to see something like this candlestick close above this 45 cent mark. Why? It's because if it closes below the 45 cent mark, most probably it will go all the way down to this uh, it will still float around this area probably it will just uh, it will even go below this 39 cent mark and then it will start floating around here somewhere and if we happen to see that it close above this 45 cent mark most probably you will see a very strong rebound back uh, next week so if you ask me whether this recovery will take how long i would say it could take weeks it could take months it could take years we might not know but most probably i would say it could take months to recover because uh, as you can see if you look at the dogecoin market cap value it has been dropped almost i think 40 old billion if not mistaken it was around 90 old billion a few weeks ago and right now it has been dropped to half so in order to get back this 40 old billion i think it might take some time for it to recover back uh, long run i think dogecoin will still go up in value if you ask me whether the dogecoin could reach a dollar plus i could say it's possible if the uh, hype is still going if the uh, influencer can influence this coin to make this coin have a better price in future and increase the uh, market cap value we might not know how strong the influencer is especially uh, elon musk because uh, as i can see elon musk uh, to be honest uh, I believe that his tweet right now is not as powerful as uh, last time. I'm not sure why. Maybe the retailers are right now are scared or maybe they are resting. They want to see uh, much more uh, better confirmation first before they get in. Nobody knows. So hopefully we can see the Dogecoin doing a recovery soon. Uh, but if you look at the H4, you might see the uh, Dogecoin doing a consolidation right now around this area. So what you need to wait is uh, we need to wait until the uh, candlestick able to either break upwards or downwards then we only know the confirmation whether the dogecoin is moving towards the uh, buy trend or the uh, sell trend so right now i think the market are still stagnant but it's a good thing that the dogecoin is doing a very good recovery right now i will keep you guys updated from now on on the dogecoin value and on the Dogecoin technical analysis and I think that's all for today's episode if you like my episode remember to click like share and subscribe I will see you guys soon and bye bye